Around my feet here, look. Take, take, little one. Look. Oh, he took it. Oh, I don't move, come on. He's a big bass. I'm here, here we are. He wants it. Look at him chasing it. He just nipped it and left it. This are on. Here's an acoustic page. Got the bag. Oh, better I get. Finally, pretty safe here. Hi, true blue. <laughs> they got rid of him. Every time I hear that on a hot day, I cringe because often it's a uh, fire. In factory fires mean dead fish. Okay. I haven't drawn that fish back. I mean, he. He's uneducated, educated fish because he was stupid enough to go for all that stuff, but then worked out he was getting tricked. Right, let's see what we'll do now. What I'm putting on now, or got on now, is a great big storm wake bait. And there's two reasons why I'm doing it. One, is because a good chance I'll just smash it on that chopping sound that I make with them. But the other is if a bass stirred up to my feet with mud, what do you think he's going to do when he thinks that other bass are feeding in here? So I might rip it for about five to ten cars, get that chop chop going, that. That's it, that's what I want. That. Doesn't matter if the line tangles up, I just want that chop sound. Right. What we're doing is just waking this hole up because now we know that the fish are prone to that. Now I'll wake it across and see if I can draw one. Just put one under the bridge. Trouble is this stuff is so slippery. These bass are big enough to smash this lure. There's no worries about the size of it. But if they can think that uh, their mates are bludgeoning all the fish. That's the sound. I don't think there's a feeding frenzy going on. We'll switch in a couple more casts. Go up and try and get some fresh fish now. I've got the gator on. Right. Let's switch, switch back the spinner and just see if we attracted anything first before we leave. Yep, that was the one. Wasn't going to let you swim up around my feet, mate. It might not be the one, buddy. Oh no, he's. Oh, who knows? I got another one anyway. <sighs> Jeez, you went nuts. I think the other one was bigger than that, so I don't think I did get him. And I've seen one swimming out over there. That was awesome. 
silver so you've only just come in so those are earlier ones that i was getting i'll show you once i get him off the hook those other two i got were gold they've been in for a while see how he's just all fresh brand new the system i thought i'd trick the one but he's the other one's a lot bigger than that so anyway oops sorry mate <laughs> unreal urban fishing mate you got to give it a go he was a school class i wonder if i could draw another one across that i've seen a bird feeding over there oh there's another one yep i've seen a bird feeding over there so they got school class bass so that's sort of two and two together about these bass are pushing bait fish up and uh it's just a gimme that's a little gimme but they're not see the bass are, that's definitely not i didn't trick that bass that come up to my feet because one he was a lot bigger but you can see clearly that these are school bass and look at the little monkey fins that's the and the saws on him i mean it's the price you pay for being a bass in sydney Now that, remember I chopped up that weight bait and smashed it all around here? Well that's the dividends of doing that. Two fish. What I did is made these fish think, they got jealous. They thought there was a bass in here feeding on stuff so that they've come around the corner into here and I've got them. What a fun little session and it all because I was too lazy to walk her a jungly infested creek so I thought I'll just go for a drive drove over a creek that hasn't produced bass for a couple of years because of the pollution and just thought wow you look so bassy here they are they're back that's four landed one dropped from the bridge just to here so who knows what else I'm going to get today oh god always find it there are so many snakes, Livy. But I'm a pretty loud walker. And uh, I respect the land. And it seems to respect me when I do that. Use that rope and just bend these down. <laughs> I feel like you're going to have a fish as soon as you can find a spot to get a lure in. Went the other side. Oh, 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 thank God I missed that. Thinking, how am I going to get him out? I need to do a bit of gardening. Go up here from memory, there's a couple little gaps. Uh. Yeah, here we are. Right in the middle of a absolutely popular building boom estate area. And check this out. Yep. Oh. <coughs> Look at that another silver one. So they've had that weight bait belt all the way through here. It's beautiful. I miss you guys. Oh my another little silver fatty. Well, any indication to this that the whole place is just stacked with fish. Absolutely loaded. finding spots to get in there to get a cast at them. Surface bites? Oh, what's that? Surface bites going to be pretty crazy, I reckon. I'm going to move up and see if I can get somewhere where I can get in there for a surface bite. There's a little pocket hole further up, and when it gets like this, usually that one's running really clear. It's got a lot of weed in it in the middle that clears it up. 
So we'll go up there and see what we can do. We just know that there's that many fish in here that all I gotta do is pull out that weight bait again and um, get them going again. Still on. Another little one. <laughs> you get sick of watching this beetle spin catch fish, so we'll have to try a few other lures. It always falls back to when you're casting and stuff like that, you don't know whether you're going to get your lure back or not. It's different, like when I'm fishing a heavier gauge for bass. And I know those real big girls then, there's possibly they are here. Those real big girls are here, I go a heavier gauge and then you get more impact. And I can just rip them through the reeds and stuff. But at the moment, I think eight pound braid, eight pound lead, it's not really going to cut it for that. Let's move up. Yeah, that looks like a fairly modern bottle. What's it got on it? Well, dinks up here, but it's just non stop. There's another silver one. We started with those gold ones, so there's bass holes further up. Um, I'm not going to be busting through them today, but I've sort of got an idea where the bigger fish are going to be, those chunky chunkies. I mean, this, this place is loaded. I don't know how many bass I've pulled out now. It'll be at least 10. But I haven't been here long. I've only been here an hour. So, probably an hour and a quarter. I meant to be here a quarter. That's just what I love about bass fishing. It was that challenge of, like, I know I failed. My challenge of getting that fish at my feet. But, oh, geez, I was close. And that's what art's all about. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, last three videos, I've all had one thumbs down. Pretty good. And uh, comments have been really good, too. I haven't answered the comments on... Uh, well, there's another one. I'll get it off that leaf. On the last video, but I will. I'll get there. I'm saying... Oh, I missed him again. Seen one comment just had me burst out loud. Like I haven't read the comments, but what happens is my computer pops up every so often with just the first sentence. And uh, there was one comment there. Come on, get it. And he said, uh, "You'll need your rate whistle if I find you in there." And I thought, "Oh no, he goes. What a, you know, you don't need that sort of." Uh, anyway, wasn't thinking. I was a bit worried, so I opened it up, and he said, yeah, because I'm going to rate your tackle box. Well, mate, that's the best comment I've heard in a long time, so uh, you run into me, mate. you got the pick of any lure in my box for sure, 100%. I'll just shut this lot down. Oh, no, I haven't. I've seen him come up. Oh, good fish. I've seen him come up, and, uh, oh, nice fish come up and take that, just slammed it. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, off the hook. Wait, 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 buddy. I'll let you go. Oh, he's beautiful. He's got a bit of blue in him. So the, the bluey colours. He'll go gold in another week. Little chunk. Thank you. Thank you, mother, for the rabbits. And thank you guys for watching this stuff. So the goal of this video was to catch a bass, local, and then do finish that, like do my man bag, my tackle bag video that I promised last video. And, uh, man, I've just got addicted to this fishing. I got the fever. And this video is going to be long enough without it. So, 
Just gonna have to be patient guys, I'll do it on the next one. It'll probably be on the weekend. Happy Australia Day to everyone. And uh, hope you all had fun today.